There's a bit of a baby boom happening at Hampton Roads right now. Local hospitals tell me that they are unusually busy this month. So what's behind the boom? I went to find out. Ten tiny fingers and ten tiny toes times how many? It's something in the air, absolutely. <laughs> the number of newborn footprints is about to explode on the walls of the Midwifery Center at DePaul. We're busy, but it's fun. To figure out why they need all these extra baby blankets in October, you have to go back to January. It looks really cold. Yeah, plus yeah. we had a lot of snow. Remember now? Hampton Roads was under a blanket of snow for several weeks, and the McCarrigs, like many other couples, had some unexpected quality time together. I was going to DCC, and every time I look at my cell phone, you know, it always gives me an alert that says, you know, class is canceled. So, yeah, so I've, I've been home <laughs> a lot of times. So. Add to that snowstorm two Navy homecomings, USS Leyte Golf and the USS Boise, and you've got bouncing baby boys and girls in greater numbers than usual for October. We are actually um, about 20 birds ahead, and if we keep on that trend, we could potentially you know, add an additional 30 more. And the boom is likely just beginning. Little Kenra came about three weeks early. And while other Hampton Roads hospitals are also welcoming more babies this month, Riverside tells Ten on Your Side they're preparing for even more in November. You see, that nine-month pregnancy is a bit of a misnomer. Women are actually pregnant for 40 weeks, which means we could see an avalanche of snow babies before autumn ends. Now, Santerra Hospitals report they've been very busy through the summer in labor and delivery, too. Last year marked the first increase in birth rates since the recession.